Hello everybody, I am Suman Matthews and today we will be showing how to solve problems on standard deviation. This is a part of grade 11 maths, college maths and also a branch of statistics. As an experienced maths teacher teaching mathematics for the past 25 years, I would like to discuss the direct method, shortcut method and step deviation method to calculate standard deviation. All the three types of problems are discussed with the formulae. So take your paper and pen and work through the video with me. And as a bonus, formulae of mean using step deviation method is also given. Now what is standard deviation? The degree to which numerical data is spread over an average value is called dispersion of data. And standard deviation is the most important measure of dispersion. So if we have an average and the values are spread around the average, that is called dispersion. And the most important measure of dispersion is standard deviation, which is used in many statistical formulae, which is denoted by the symbol sigma. So sigma squared is governed by the formula summation i taking values 1 to n, xi minus x bar the whole squared by n. Simplifying this by expanding, sigma squared is summation xi squared by n minus x bar the whole squared. The standard deviation is square root of sigma squared that is sigma. So basically we need to remember that standard deviation is the square root of variance. Coming to the first question, find the standard deviation of the following data. We have these values. So we write it down in a column and we calculate x squared. We add x and add x squared and sigma squared by the earlier formula is governed by summation xi squared by n minus x bar the whole squared. So that would be 2580 by 10. There are 10 values minus x bar would be 15 squared. So sigma would be 5.74 square root of 33 that is 5.74. Question 2, find the mean and standard deviation for the following data. You are given xi and fi. Now this is a frequency distribution. So we have the direct method. Sigma is given by square root of summation fi. xi minus x bar the whole squared by summation fi. Simplifying this, this would be summation fi xi squared by summation fi minus summation fi xi by summation fi the whole squared. So we calculate fi xi take the sum, calculate fi xi squared take the sum. So substituting this would be square root of 16176 by 40 minus 760 by 40 the whole squared. So that would give you 6.59. And we also need to find the mean. So mean is summation fi xi by summation fi. That would be 760 by 40 which is 90. Now, we next problem, find the standard deviation for the following data. We are given the class interval and the frequency. So, we take the midpoint of the class interval as the x values and we use the shortcut method. So, for the shortcut method, you let a be the assumed mean and we write let di equal to xi minus a. So, we have the class interval frequency. We take the middle values 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we choose the middle value that is 50 as A. So DI is XI minus 50 that would be 30 minus 50 which is minus 20, 40 minus 50 which is minus 10, 0, 10 and so on. Then we calculate FI DI and FI DI squared and sigma using the shortcut method is governed by square root of summation FI DI squared by summation FI minus summation FI DI by summation FI the whole square. So that would give you square root of 73,200 by 540 minus of minus 180 by 540 the whole squared. So sigma would be 11.64. Coming to the next problem, calculate the mean, variance and standard deviation of the following data using step deviation method. Again, we for the step deviation method, we put Ti is Xi minus A by C where A is the assumed mean and C is the width of the class interval. So we have the middle values which are 35, 45, 55, 65 that is Xi. We take A as 65. So Ti is Xi minus 65 by 10. That would be 35 minus 65 by 10 which is minus 3. 
45 minus 65 by 10 which is minus 2. And using the formula for step deviation method, sigma is c into square root of summation fi ti squared by summation fi minus summation fi ti by summation fi the whole square. So it's earlier to the similar to the shortcut method only we are multiplying by c here. So substituting these values, c is 10 the width of the class interval. It would be 10 square root of 105 by 50 minus of minus 15 by 50 the whole squared. So sigma is 14.18. Variance is square of sigma squared since we have to find the variance that would be 201. And uh, to find the mean, mean would be using step deviation method. This is the bonus. Mean is a plus c summation fi ti by summation fi. That is 65 plus 10 summation fi ti is minus 15 by 50 which is 62. So I have given you three methods. Which method would you prefer? Please send me a comment. I would love to hear from you. For more videos, please keep checking my playlist.